point still very much there. Jitendra Arora is now joining us. He's Executive uh, Vice President and Fund Manager, Equity at ICICI Prudential Life Insurance. Uh, Jitin, good, good, uh, good afternoon. Great to have you with us here. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, you know, so I just want to start by asking you, where are you, uh, what are you more sort of comfortable and uh, what do you like more? Do you like things on the consumption side uh, or do you like things more on the investment side? Let's just begin there as a construct and then we can drill it down. For sure, uh, uh, just to uh, before uh, going towards why the consumption or uh, towards the investment, I would just want to break down the market, uh, how it is poised. Uh, uh, we believe that uh, we are in a phase of market where it's going to be a tricky next 6 to 12 months, uh, where we will see markets probably more on the sidelines rather than uh, uh, seeing a sharp up move or down move. And there are a variety of factors that will influence that. So in that backdrop uh, uh, and taking into account uh, how the things are likely to move, uh, at this point in time, if you ask me, I'll be marginally uh, poised in the favor of consumption stocks uh, uh, from a 12-month perspective rather than the investment stocks. Uh, and the reason is fairly simple, that we have seen a slowing down market impact on some of these names uh, that's getting priced in. Uh, we have uh, gotten some kind of time correction or price correction on them. Uh, and as a result, uh, we believe the valuation of some of these uh, consumption stocks, which can be uh, compounders over a longer period of time, uh, have corrected over the last 12 to 18 months. Whereas if we see the investment-related names, uh, given the bullishness on uh, resumption of CAPEX cycle, we are seeing that some of these names are quoting at uh, lifetime high uh, multiples and valuations and are pricing in very aggressive earnings expansion over the next 12 to 24 months. So uh, that's the factor which uh, drives us more towards consumption names at this point in time rather than uh, investment names. Mm. Uh, so, investment names are a complete avoid for you, or are you looking to sell down your exposure to make space for consumption? Because if the headline is not going to be going anywhere, uh, the alpha you will generate is by picking the right stocks. Um, so, could you help us? You know, what do we do if you hold an LNT, you hold the ABBs and Siemens in the world? Will you pare down your exposure? Would you go a little underweight on banks, for instance, to make space for these stocks which you believe will outperform? No, so uh, before uh, correct uh, there, uh, so it's not that I'm recommending to sell down banks. In fact, uh, uh, private sector banks still remains uh, one of my uh, preferred sectors to play uh, the Indian market over the next 12 to 24 months uh, uh, per se. Uh, having said that, uh, between consumption and investment, it's not that we don't hold uh, investment names. Within investments, one can be specific and look at stocks where you have the valuations are still reasonable and perhaps stocks are not pricing in too much of earnings uh, uh, growth uh, over the next 12 to 24 months and you can stay overweight those names uh, to play the cycle uh, for next 12 to 24 May months. But there are certain stocks which are uh, already uh, quoting at very high uh, valuation. Uh, those are the names where we will pay down and make space for some of these consumption names which we would like to accumulate over the next three to six months. Okay, got that, Jitendra. So you're looking to accumulate some consumption bets uh, over the next few months. Uh, uh, Tell us a little more about the portfolios as, as they're poised. Uh, beyond, let's say, financials, what would be your biggest overweights at this juncture? So some of the uh, consumption themes uh, we are overweight, for instance, something like uh, a QSR space, uh, we like that space. Similarly, hospitals is one space which we like. Uh, they have been steady compounders for us and they have delivered for us uh, over the last 12, 12 to 24 months and we continue to expect them to deliver uh, over next uh, few quarters as well. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Jitendra. Good afternoon. Jitendra, you know, looking at a couple of these uh, mid-cap IT stocks, emphasis as we speak, that one spiked to the high point of the day. What's your view on IT? Clearly, there are still some global headwinds, and maybe the worst is yet to come because recession has not really hit, and yet we are seeing these pullbacks, lower growth, but margins could improve. How would you approach the space and between large and mid caps, what's the take? So at this point in time, my preferred, uh, if within ID I have to choose, I'll prefer large cap versus the mid cap. Uh, however, uh, if you ask us, uh, we as a house uh, are still uh, underweight IT per se. And uh, I think uh, you hit the nail on the head when you said that uh, the growth may slow down further. That's what our uh, hypothesis is at this point in time. 
uh, and even though margins uh, may look to improve, uh, but there also we can see that there may be some kind of headwinds which may come uh, because of uh, the lack of growth and also because of some kind of uh, pricing cut which the uh, companies may have to deliver uh, to their clients in order to uh, get uh, more business. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> Jitin, uh, so QSR, hospitals, what else? Any other uh, sectors from the consumption space? Uh, banks per se, uh, we like. Okay. Uh, they're also a proxy on the consumption per se. Uh, I okay. would gradually start moving into NPFCs uh, a little bit because I believe that uh, we are close to the peak of the rate cycles. And uh, as the rates start going down, uh, let's say six to nine months from this point in time onwards, they will be beneficiary on their cost of funds and should see their earnings growing uh, here uh, at a good pace. So I will be selectively buying into good NBFCs at this point in time. In hospitals, is there any preference between the metro city hospitals like CR Max or, you know, some of the more regional plays like Krishna Institute of Medical Sciences, which is present in Telangana? Um, is there any, you know, bifurcation that you're making when it comes to hospitals? What are the metrics that you're looking at to pick the winner? <laughs> There, uh, we have a portfolio approach at this point in time. So if you see, we have regional plays as well as some of the metro plays as well. Uh, I think hospitals is as a space, given that the underpenetration of uh, quality uh, health infrastructure in the country, I think that's, that's one space where we can see secular growth for a longer period of time. And as long as you're picking a company which is uh, investing its capital at uh, right uh, price and at right place, uh, we should see that those stocks should deliver. And so far, most of the listed plays there have delivered. We can see that. Okay. Uh, got that. So, Jitendra, uh, you know, uh, sort of to sum things up, what is your overall stance? Uh, would you be fully deployed at, uh, at this point in time or looking at the markets, the fact that we're close to all-time highs, we do have some uncertainties in the international arena. Uh, would you prefer to keep some cash on the sidelines and look at gradual deployment? Or are you expecting really you know, better levels ahead as we uh, close out the second half of the year? So there, uh, our philosophy plays a big role. Uh, as a house, we do not keep a very high level of cash. Uh, we believe that our investors have given us the money to deploy into equity markets. We can choose stocks where we uh, want to deploy it, but uh, we don't keep cash at very high levels at this point in time. Having said that, uh, what I can uh, also see that uh, uh, domestic uh, mutual funds uh, today, for instance, are maintaining at maintaining cash levels which are perhaps highest over last 24 months so almost in excess of four percent on an aggregate basis so that perhaps is saying something about uh, domestic's comfort at the current level cash levels had held by domestic mutual funds at a two-year high thank you very much uh, jitendra for joining and look forward to our next conversation get into a break we'll come back and tell you a few stocks that you can buy today to sell tomorrow calls from our technical experts